So I'm at the Lawrence Berkeley National Lab where Ernest Lawrence perfected the cyclotron in the 1930s and the expertise that he gained working on that project made him crucial to the development of the U.S. Manhattan Project and the making of the atomic bomb and this continues to be a place where there's a lot of cutting edge experimental uh, science done. Uh, for example, this. Now, could you hear it when I clap? Um, the clap bounces off the wall that I have here, um, but it doesn't come back as sounding like a clap. It sounds like a chirp. Let's we'll see if you can hear it. It starts as a high-pitched squeak and comes down. And it sounds almost simultaneous with my clap because the wall is so close. Now, this won't happen with a normal wall, but this wall here happens to be corrugated. Um, it's a metal wall with little dimples in it, and the spacing between the dimples is approximately the same as the size of a sound wave. Similarly to the way that the spacing of the tracks on a CD is similar in size to a light wave. And in the same way when you shine white light on a CD, you get all the colors separated. When I clap, I'm essentially creating white noise, a sharp percussive sound. And uh, the different frequencies of the sound get separated by this wall. And so when I clap, what you're essentially hearing is the sound of a rainbow.